Yo, what's up everyone? It's BenFN back with a brand new video um, and today I'm going to be doing an optimization guide for Fortnite in 2025. So this is going to be giving you the most FPS uh, and the least input delay out of your game. So if you can see like right now, I'm literally on zero input delay um, and my FPS is really good. I've turned it off. Um, but yeah, we're really clean right now. And I'm going to be showing you how to get zero zero input delay i am actually in my zero delay 1v1 map so if you guys want to use this map as a benchmark to test your fps because there is literally no delay on this um the map code's on the top of the screen and i'll put it on screen right now um it has all these cool weapons like the pump the havoc the thunder the mammoth pistol so if you guys want to use the map before we get to the video like look at the delay like there is no delay right now there is no delay um so if you guys want to use that the map code on screen and i'm going to get into the optimization it's completely safe let's get right into it okay so the first thing you want to do is actually go into your display settings in fortnite this is going to be the simplest thing um, and you just want to make sure you have the correct settings that will give you the most fps so windowed mode you want to put this on full screen right this is going to give you the most fps because your game is actually centered on fortnite set your resolution to your monitor's native resolution so it's usually 1920 by 1080 uh, 16 by 9 ratio V-Sync, you're going to want to turn off. It massively reduces your FPS. And then frame rate limit, just set it to your monitor's hertz, right? So that's going to give you nice, good FPS. Because what's the point on putting it on unlimited or something higher when you literally can't see that through your monitor? Literally wasting performance. Um, so yeah, this is going to make your game run smoothly. Rendering mode, of course, you want that on performance. This gives you the most FPS. You should know that by now. Um, moving down to the graphics, this doesn't really matter. This is all preference. So you can adjust that in your own time or keep it the same. Now moving down to the graphics section, you want to keep your 3D resolution on 100% because this is what's going to allow you to see your game at the resolution that we put above. So for me and many of you guys, 1920 by 1080 if you put it down, you will get a bit more FPS right, but your game is going to be literally unplayable because you literally can't see anything. It might be a bit more smoother, but like in game, you're not going to be able to see anything. Your clips are going to look bad. So keep it on 100%. Uh, keep Nanite Visualized Geometry off. View distance, you can actually put this on far or epic, right? This won't really mess up your FPS. I put it on far because I like to see players from far away. If you do really want the best FPS, put it on there. But like far isn't a killer. And then textures, you do want to put this one on low and meshes on low. This is what's going to give you the mobile build effects um, and the lowest delay, of course. Uh, for, ad for advanced graphics, if you actually turn your FPS counter off, this will give you more FPS because your game doesn't have to constantly like check how much FPS it's on. Um, obviously that uses performance right so turn it off latency markers you want to have off and then nvidia reflex low latency this should be set to either on or on plus boost depending on your graphics card and your whole system in general so test around with it but i have it on on um, a lot of pros have it on 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 plus boost can work it's just honestly preference so keep messing around with that um, and then report performance stats just keep that off okay so those are the display settings um, and this will just set you up for a great performance. Um, so make sure you copy what I've done and yeah. Okay, so the next step is actually outside of Fortnite. So you can go ahead and close the app for now. And then what you want to do is literally just go to your settings app on your computer and then search start up apps. So start up apps, it's right there. You click on it and you literally just want to turn everything off, okay? So like I've turned off Minecraft, right? Why would I have Minecraft running when my PC turns on? That's literally just extra imp delay because the, like, the launch is going to be running in the background. All these applications you want to keep off apart from the essential ones for example my mouse software i need that to start when it runs right so i can get my dpi running and then epic games obviously i'm going to open that right so i can keep that one on but literally i've turned all the unnecessary ones off but i've got discord on but apart from that literally we're chilling um keep all of them off and then there's a very similar setting that you want to change if you go to your settings and such background apps this time um background apps right here okay if you go on this one you literally just want to turn everything off okay so these are my apps right just turn it all off so on right there are some useless apps that are just running in the background just turn it all off um so nothing will be running in the background when your game is running and your and just your pc in general use right so if you turn all of this like you can literally have your camera running in the background just turn this off make sure it's all off at the top let apps run in the background just turn it all off and we should be good to go okay so the next optimization is a really good one it's nice and quick and it's just going to basically remove all the temporary files on your computer so what you want to do is press windows and then r on your keyboard at the same time and it's going to bring up the run command right and what you want to do is you want to type percent temp percent right so type that in as you can see on my screen percent temp percent press ok and it's going to open up your temporary folder so these are all useless files that are just temporary on your pc and you want to do is just press ctrl a 
to select all of them and then hit delete on your keyboard. Um, there's often problems like deleting them, but if you press continue, keep pressing try again, skip, it's going to delete as much of them as possible. Some actually can't be deleted for whatever reason. This is a common problem. But if you just keep trying that and delete as many as possible, right, then a lot of your temporary files are going to be gone. So we've removed any temporary files. Don't worry, this is completely safe and not dangerous. Um, and it's going to make your PC run faster. Okay, so the next optimization we're going to be doing is updating our graphics card driver to the latest version, which will give us the most FPS because obviously it's the latest update, um, which is made for now. Okay, so what you want to do is head to the link in the description. Um, this is the one for NVIDIA graphics cards, which is what I'm sure most of you have. If you have a different company, um, you can look up your respective graphics card page. But basically, this is the one for NVIDIA. It's the driver search, right? And what you want to do is literally just find your graphics card. So, for example, if you have a 3070 Ti, you want to find that and then hit find. And then it's basically going to give you the file. Give it a second. It's loading. It's going to give you the file to install. So studio driver or game ready driver, you want to hit game ready driver. So this is for games, for example, and then this is for editing. Um, so hit the game ready driver if you're playing Fortnite, which we all are. Hit view. And then you just want to download it okay so hit this and then it's going to run through the startup the setup um, this is completely safe it's by nvidia of course um, it's the latest version and it's going to give you more fps okay so today's final optimization is going to be without doubt the most important one and it's going to be your nvidia control panel settings so what we want to do is right click on our desktop and hit nvidia control panel so you need an nvidia graphics card for this but i'm sure most of you do um, like I said earlier on and it's going to open up your settings and the first thing you want to do is go to change resolution and make sure your refresh rate is set to the highest so I have two monitors one's a 240 hertz and one's a 144 hertz and just set them to the highest right so um, obviously make sure you're not on like 60 hertz right because that's what a lot of people do make sure it's on the highest possible um, of course okay so after we've made sure we're on the right refresh rate you want to go to the top tab under 3d settings adjust image settings with preview you want to go to that and make sure use the advanced 3d settings is on and press take me there okay so these are the testings that's going to control your performance right so make sure this is all on and then I'm gonna run through the important ones. The most important ones are low latency mode. You wanna have this set to on. And if you're on a really low end PC, you could put this to ultra. But for mid to high end PCs, which most of you are gonna be on, set this to on. And then open GL rendering GPU. Make sure this is just on your graphics card, nice and simple. Power management mode, you wanna put this one on prefer maximum performance. And then texture filtering quality, put this on high performance as well. But yeah, these are the best NVIDIA control panel settings. If you do want to copy me setting for setting, I'm just going to scroll through them really quickly. Um, you can pause the video, but I've shown you the main ones that you want to change to give you the best performance and most FPS. And then obviously when you're done, you want to hit apply in the corner to apply these settings. But yeah, that's going to be it for the performance today, guys. Obviously, I haven't made you install any like dodgy softwares, nothing like that. We've kept it simple within Windows settings, Fortnite settings, and just NVIDIA in general. Um, obviously, I am on zero delay. Like It's so clean and I haven't even done anything dodgy at all, all within the video. And it does help that I'm in my zero delay 1v1 map. So map code on screen once again. But if you guys like this optimization and you want to see more in the future, please let me know by subscribing. And I will definitely do another one if this video does well. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.